everybody. Happy Friday. Doreen from Door Designs. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, on today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a round grapevine wreath base. It's a little bit different of a wreath base, and I'll explain why. We're not going to use any ribbons or anything like that, which I know is going to be surprising because you all know how I love my ribbons. But on this design, it's going to be more florals, bird's nests, things like that, that are kind of outdoorsy and fun. Um, I got this base from a wholesaler that comes through um, and sells to two different stores uh, around my area. And it's a, like I said, a round grapevine, but notice it's wide. So it's more narrower at the top and it's wider as you come around the bottom. So it's almost like you have a basket. So that's what we're going to kind of play off and use. Um, the wreath base, this one is about 17, 18 inches. Uh, it's really nice made. Whoops, my necklace is caught. There we go. Um, so we're going to kind of just play around with that. So I don't think I'm going to use any bows. I think I'm just going to use uh, uh, greenery and florals. So my first step, what I did is I just took some green moss. And a lot of you ask what moss. I just get it at Hobby Lobby. And it's just a green color moss. And what I did is I kind of filled up the bottom a little bit. And the reason I did that is I want some of my mechanics to show because when I put my styrofoam in, I'd rather it show the moss than the green going all the way across. So I just put some in. We may have to add some once we get our styrofoam in. And I'm taking it up this side because this is the side I'm going to kind of design on. And I'm going to leave all of this, I think, pretty well open, except maybe a couple of vines or something going through it. So I'm just going to take some dry foam and I'm going to stick that right down in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of moss real quick. And I'm just going to stick some right down in front to cover up that foam. And also, once you get your flowers in and your florals and everything, you won't see much of it anyway. And it's okay if some of it shows. I just don't like a lot of it to show. And I don't know what's worse, sphagnum moss or glitter, because they both get absolutely everywhere. Okay, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take... Uh, some wire and I'm going to go across or I might use a zip tie go across my styrofoam and down to zip tie my foam in even though it's pretty sturdy I'm going to do it different I'm going to take some picks and go through here with some hot glue and glue it through this way now that I think about it so I'm just going to take some skewers I'm going to break them in half And I'm just going to run it right through. And we'll cut that off pretty short and you will never see it. Just to give it a little bit more stability is all I'm looking to do. And I'm going to put one through the back. Okay, so we have our base in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, my plan is I'm going to take some longer pieces coming up here and over here, and then we're going to kind of fill in all the way around it. And our bird's nest is pretty good size with three eggs in it, and I'm going to kind of build it up with all the florals kind of going around. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of my florals in the background. So let's start playing around. I've not designed on one of these bases before, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to try to keep it nice and airy and open. So I had a filler bush, so I've just cut it apart 
into three different pieces. So let's kind of open this all up, make it nice and pretty. I'm going to, I'm just kind of curling the tall end pieces. You can use any florals you have. I would try to use something that has some different leaves and kind of some filler to it to take up some space since it, ha since it has a wide opening at the bottom. it looks already with just some florals and you'll notice how nice and full it's going to be I'm going to take my last piece and I'm going to put it kind of back towards the back side of the uh, styrofoam to kind of fill in a little bit of this opening And then just kind of move your flowers around. I want to make sure they all show nice and full and pretty. So there it is with just that one stem or filler bush cut in three pieces and look how full it looks. Okay, I'm going to put the bird's nest in next and then I'm going to kind of add some more florals and some vine things around it. But you're going to be amazed how quick this design goes. I'm just taking a stem, I'm gonna bend it, and that's what I'm gonna secure my bird's nest with. So I'm just feeding that through the bird's nest. You'll never see it because the brown just goes right along with it. And I'm gonna dip the end in my electric skillet with my glue in it. And we're just going to punch it right on in there. See how cute that is with the bird's nest? Okay, let's add some little filler flowers around it. A little bit shorter.
I'm just going to keep adding some stuff around it. So you can make this as full as you want. I'm pretty much staying in kind of some warm colors of the purples, some cream colors, a little bit of white. I've got a dark spot right here, so you know what I like to do? I like to add white to make that stand out and pop. So we're just going to stick some little white flowers in there. Okay, I've got some twigs, and I think I want to take a few twigs up and around. I'm going to bring them over the top a little bit here. There we go. I love adding some twigs and some whimsical to outdoor designs like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking those up the side here. Oh, you probably can't see them that well. I'm just going to zip tie them down here kind of low and you'll never see the zip tie. I'm going to add this to the two vines I already have because it's got some brighter berries on it. And the colors are the colors that I have in my florals, you know, the light green, the mauves, the purples. So let's add a little bit there. I'm using a black zip tie instead of a white. That will just kind of blend in more with the grapevine. It'd also be cute with a butterfly in it, but I used my last butterfly the other day on a custom, so I need to get some more, but it'd be adorable with a butterfly, or if you wanted to add a little bird in here. Okay, I'm going to stick a few little twigs 
in the actual bird nest to kind of give it, instead of it just being brown, round, and flat, we're going to kind of bring in some of the um, vines and a little bit of the green and maybe some berries. Got some blue strings are all stuck in the moss. I'm just trimming a little bit of the grapevine. That is so cute. And just think, there's not one ribbon in this design. I have one little piece left and I'm gonna I'm determined to use it. Okay, we're done. And look how cute this is. So you can see the bird's nest, but it's nestled in with all the flowers around it. That kind of softens it up. And then we just have nice, pretty soft spring flowers. This is a great way that you could use any color combinations you want. And like I said, you don't have to use a bird's nest. You could use bigger flowers. You could use a birdhouse. Um, matter of fact, I've got a birdhouse right here. And I just dropped my bird inside. You could have put a birdhouse in the center. Hold it up there. Look how pretty it looks with the birdhouse in the center. This is just a moss colored birdhouse. So your ideas are endless. Just kind of let your imagination work with you and kind of come up with some ideas. This is a fun, uh, really beginner's kind of one because all you're doing is just putting in your piece of styrofoam and some moss and then just filling it in. So no right, no wrong, just nice fun. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Whoops, I got one flower that kind of moved back behind. for a nice, quick, easy design on a Friday. Have a great weekend. Um, I will have this listed in my shop later today. Make a great Mother's Day and just a nice spring uh, way to start your front porch. So enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.